Welcome to Solitaire. Let's play. Uh, I like to go for the columns first, then try to work my way to the draw pile. There's 24 cards in that draw pile. This is going to be a tricky one here. I kind of want to make this three go up, but I'm going to see what happens with the two. Probably not going to stay with it, though. We'll see. I'm probably going to regret. We'll see what's in this draw pile here. There's basically 24 cards in here. If we get one that we can play early, I like to hold it. Uh, in this case, we don't have anything yet. We don't have anything at all. We do have this one. That'll be interesting. I bet, yeah, I'm probably going to go back with that three. But we have, uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't have hardly anything that works. Let's see this. Let's see what's under this, and then go from there. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's really good for us. Except, this two is going to hurt us, I think. We'll see here. Uh, but yeah, you want to try to give yourself room to work. Uh, I think this king would be a, not a good move here, because it's at the end. Uh, this king may or may not be a good move. Let's see where it goes. I'm going to leave it open. Jack, so we need a black nine. Let's see if there's a way to get to that one. There we go. So basically, uh, what you want to do is you want to save those early cards, like I said, for later, and then try to figure out what to do to get around that. Now, in this case, it's a little different, but uh, that's going to be the idea. Here we'll go with the eight there. No, this, yeah, this two. I'm, I've been debating on this one. Uh, there's no... If I get a two of hearts, it could be bad because I can't play that. Let's see this again. There's a jack. So I need a red queen. The other thing you want to do is try to determine where the critical cards are. I think that red jack is now a critical card. That king may be something we want to play. I could, I could possibly be going back now that we have the queen here. Uh, there's, always, there's a lot of different uh, scenarios in play. Well, we got this Red King here, too. So We're trying to determine where the critical cards are. So, like, this one's critical. I'm going to save that for later. Uh, that's going to allow me to get to other cards here. I don't like doing that, but we're going to bring that one down. That'll allow us to play that king there. And then the deuce of diamonds can be played. Let's go back and play a five. This is good. This is good. So we got something there. We got this out of the way. Now we've got this as well if we needed to. I'm going to hold off on that because I think there's just a jack there. We don't have the queen. So we're going to hold off on that jack. Yeah, so it's a slow... I mean, you could play all the cards at once, but the the basic idea is the more different looks we get from the draw pile, being there's 24 cards in there to start, uh, the better our chances are going to typically be. So that's the thinking behind that. So I can play the jack with a 10 here. Let's walk that back here. Normally I wouldn't. I'd save this for later, but I can play the 10 and then the 9. And then I could play the 8. I'm saving that space just in case I need it, because there is another 8 there. Okay, so there should be a 10 coming there. Now I can play the 9. Oh, that's good. We got the Ace and that. That's really nice. And we got the Queen. That's really good. We're gonna get this one. We're gonna get this one solved, I believe. Unless there's something crazy in here, I, this should be solvable. Because they've also got the line. If you have a red card and a black card, you can keep walking these up. So like, I could keep going up with a three, four, all the way. Well, a decent amount of the way yet. Yeah, we'll see. Just gonna solve one or two more parts. I think I will move this now. Get all the kings down there. 
okay so this is good this is good this is going to be our insurance card now this is good because we can get at any of the other cards in the draw pile there's basically in lines of three so I would just have to move that one card to move some stuff around here but we're going to try to cycle through out of the back there we go there <coughs> I should probably play that six of diamonds too right okay and a weight on the 10. let's let's go for it now okay so a 10 is in play i think of playing the three let's see no i want to drop this five <coughs> actually i could drop both of them so i can play the three i'm looking to manage the draw pile uh when i get a card at the end so i play two cards the idea is that we'll be able to play the nine of spades and then the five of hearts. We could drop this four and move this three over here too. So that's my thinking here. So nine here, we'll drop that for the five. We don't need to drop the three now because we have a two. So that'll work there. We'll get this across and i guess we'll just play everything here let's see five six yeah we can drop everything now looking pretty good here looking pretty good got that one done anyway uh that wraps it up thanks for watching